Hey, welcome to another episode. This one is going to be about Mordai, if I can find my way around here. Oh, that sounds like one of those big worms. Anyway, all right, so let's head down here. You could uh, mine Mordai. If you find a, a place with it, you could put a mineral extractor above there and get Mordai. Or you could grow it um, using a plant. Um, yeah, Mordite root. It's harvested from the Mordite root. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare growing it to mining it and see how the production is. Um, this is going to be maybe my, my Mordite production area. So I, I dedicated a particular storage unit to the Mordai. So this way, if I put down, say, unit number two at another base, I'll have access to the Mordai there if I want it. All right, now what this episode is really about is I want to show you how the Mordai multiplies in value. So you take one Mordai worth 40 units, okay? That's 40 units for a Mordai. And you process it in the nutrient processor. First of all, it's then worth 800 units. 40 to 800, that's like 20 times the value. So having a couple of nutrient processors, turning it... Um, into meat flakes, I mean, you multiply the value right there, you can get some money for it. Now, if you take the meat flakes and process those, that's worth a thousand units, so that's additive. You just get about 200 units more per one. I, I just want you to see uh, the value. All right, so meaty chunks, which is worth a thousand, those process to uh, processed meat, which has 2,100 unit value. So this single processing doubles the value. And you see, I mean, it was fairly quick, and if you run a couple of these, it's even faster. So we're going from so let's see, we're going from a value of 40 units to a value of 2,100 units. It's the value in the parentheses. So that's roughly, I would say, something like, uh, what is it, 50 times the value. So, so you can multiply your Mordite by 50 times in value using the nutrient processors. Not only that, but the Mordite in the long run can be used to make acid as you build this up. And... The acid is then used to make other stuff, which eventually we'll probably talk about. But the trick is, you, you know you have a limit on base parts in a given area. Well, you could set up a Mordite mine and a little Mordite processing center, and you could use one of your storage containers if you want, or you could use a storage container for several different items. And then later on, you can have like your acid producing factory and you could put like storage container number two there and you could put the storage container 
um, for the fungal mold in there, and you can grab the mordite and the fungal mold out of the storage container because your storage containers, it doesn't matter your location. A given number storage container will have the same items whenever you build it at another base. Those items will appear in that container. So I, I hope you find that kind of cool. Multiply your mordite by 50 times the value. Produce a lot of mordite and how to set it up so you can use it in future recipes. Thank you for watching.